Right, I just thought I'd do a little film about my pond vac, my hose lock pond vac, because it's actually, it's been really good. It's made life a lot easier. Gives you ability to suck up bits off the bottom and do a water change at the same time. It's quite flexible. I mean, I've got two bits, because these just pull apart. And I've got one bit I don't use and I'm, and I'm not using the handle either because it just makes it easier for me because of the way my um, tank later on but this just makes it easier for me to to actually control it whilst putting it in the in the actual in the water that's what it can look like and that's obviously how you'd want it if it, if you had a ground level like pond or something but it's very flexible anyway like I say I've got it set up my way long electrical cable on it which is good I use this scraper it's like soft rubber scraper because it rubs off if anything off the bottom because I've got a hardish plastic bottom so that disrupts it all and then sucks it all up so I tend to use that nozzle most of the time you do get other nozzles with it as well the only thing I would say is this hose isn't that long could do it being longer and you can buy extra hose to obviously make it longer yourself um but it's a little bit annoying that the hose isn't longer out the box um but that's the only thing is a drawback on it really so i'll show you i'll show you it in action because i need to do a water change and a siphon anyway so that's my hon hose lock pond back Right, I'm in the middle of um, doing a, a water change and a siphon with Lucius and I've got to do the perch as well. But I'm using my new pond vac. You can see that in the water. Sucks up all the water and sucks up all the bits. I've already done a, a, an actual vacuum of the bottom. Now I'm just taking the water out. But it seems to be doing really well, this bit of kit. It, this is out quite a bit of water so it tanked down really quick Lucius is down there hiding in amongst the weed now but yeah I'm quite happy with it I'm glad I brought it now it's making life a lot easier outside especially when you've only got sponge filters out here although they're big and coarse ones very big and coarse ones they still need a helping hand so I've started doing a bit of a regime of a water change and a siphon every week like I do with the tanks indoors at the moment. Obviously when I get um, Lucius into the big tank I'm going to probably use a trickle filter. Um, and there's something called Biomedia Ultra. It's supposed to take nitrates out of the water as well. So I might be using that as my filter media. How true that is I don't know. But it seems to be out there quite a bit now and it seems to be holding its own. But for now, I've got the sponge filters, so I'm gonna have to do a siphon and a big, quite a big water change every week, just for now. But this pond vac is um, serving me well. I've just got, uh, I'm pretty much gonna stop it now and then start filling up some water. Then I can go and do the perch tank. Right, that's the siphon done and the water changes, the water's gone out. Now I'm putting water in. I've stopped using that because it's really slow. So I've got a normal hose pipe going in and I use what I use indoors. My sodium fio, pre-mix sodium fio sulfate. I use that now. And I should be putting in probably another bit in as well there's quite a bit of water to go in now dechlorinate the water so I can um that water's well that water's going in I can come up here and start doing uh, the perch, get the lid off, start doing the perch water change as well. 
Right, I've got the perch tank. Doing the perch tank now. But if you can see all that mess down there, I'll show you. Watch me suck all that up. I put that other plant in there. It, it originally it was from the roach and everything, but I did bleach it, and, and it was in with the minnows as well. But I've bleached it and um, washed it thoroughly as well. Thought I'd give them some more in, more um, plants, but they don't go near it. They stay down in there, around the filter and down there at the moment. It's something else if they want it. I'm sucking it all out. Makes life a lot easier. And you're doing the water change as well at the same time. Right, I better get stuck in. Right, I'm just waiting for the Lucius's tank to fill up and then I start filling this one up. I took some of the water out. Look at that, look at those two there, look. How dark, one of them is, what the one hidden in the, in the plant more, look how dark he is compared to the other one. He's really easy to catch with a net, I was a bit worried about him, but he, I've got him out and he looks okay. He just doesn't look as good as the others, and he's darker. I wondered when, because he was darker when I got him. He was a darker colour, the other two are quite light and that one's dark. And I wondered if it was like that's the difference between male and female. Um, but I don't know. I mean, he seems to sleep a lot. He doesn't seem to move much. But he's been like that from the start, really. But he's definitely darker than the others. He worries me a bit. But, here you go. I'm filling up the tank now in Lucius, and I shall get the hose pipe in here then, and that'll be all done.